Welcome, um, part two of our fun challenging algebra problems and uh, we have a really cool task here which is to factor the quintic x to the fifth plus x plus one. Not a lot to work with so how do we do this? Well we've got a pretty clever solution and it's as follows. Uh, observe that our quintic x to the fifth plus x plus one can be written cleverly as the following. Um, and what we've done is we've added three new terms in blue and we've subtracted those very same three terms in red. And so in net, we've added zero and we're always allowed to add zero because it doesn't change anything, right? Okay, cool. Now with the terms written as they are, I have a slightly different color coding in my next step. Uh, so um, I've color coded the first three terms uh, in blue and then the next three in red, and then the last three in black. I like this grouping because uh, we can factor out something from each group. Specifically, from the first group of three, we factor out an x cubed, and we'll have a quadratic x squared plus x plus one to multiply, so as to retain the uh, first three terms. And then from the middle three terms, we can factor out a negative x squared, and when we do, the same quadratic we've just seen appears, right? Cool. And then oddly and awesomely, like the last three terms are already that very quadratic. Cool. So in the next step, we can do the following, which is a mere uh, slight rewriting of the uh, previous line. And that's color coding basically what is multiplying this quadratic x squared plus x plus one in each group of three, right? So uh, in the first group of three that have now turned into this, uh, x cubed is multiplying the quadratic x squared plus x plus one. In the next group, negative x squared is multiplying the quadratic x squared plus x plus one. And in the last group, only one, the number one, positive one, is multiplying x squared um, plus x plus one. And so now what we can do is from all three groups, we can take out the common factor x squared um, plus x plus one, leaving us with a completely factored version of our quintic, which is this. Isn't that cool? I thought so. You can multiply these two uh, trinomials to see that they in fact equal x to the fifth plus x plus one. But yeah, uh, keep watching more interesting algebra videos to come. Take care.